Thank you very much, gentlemen. Great cast on the day. I am joined by Poe Belter of Immortals after their win over Echo Fox. Another sub-20 minute, as you guys were saying, and I'm just absolutely astonished at these wins. Poe Belter, you talked a bit earlier about, like, arrogance and how to not let that take over the team. You guys have now been undefeated for six games. How do you actually stop that from happening? Uh, well, I just always try and keep in mind how hard it is to stay on top. You know, you always see teams that are at the top like the world's curse or whatever teams that win worlds they never qualify again the next year because it's just so hard you know teams are always going to learn from you playing against you watching you so i think it's much harder to stay on top than to catch up and staying on top is actually very hard because you have to continue to keep your caliber or your play or play, caliber of play at a high level my next question is exactly that how do you guys identify problems on the team so quickly to call back to one who went a little aggressive in the top lane in your previous game but you guys were able to turn that around right away. What is the mechanic you guys use, or how do you approach that, just making things work? Uh, I wouldn't say we have any sort of, like, secret or any special strategy that we use. You know, we're just good at it, I guess. We're just good communicators, good at identifying what we need to fix. Is there anybody that kind of takes a, a lead in that role on the team? No, I would say everyone has a bit of an equal part. That all these answers become scarier and scarier because it just makes the team sound so well-rounded and you guys produce those results on the rift. Final question for you. You have CLG next week. How are you guys going to prepare for that game? Uh, we're just going to do what we've been doing because it seems to work out pretty well so far, and hopefully we're going to win. If it ain't fixed, don't broke it. We'll get this one in. Nice. All right, guys, we're going to throw it to the analyst desk to break down a little more of that game.